All right, you guys. Hey, how are you? Welcome in. This is a Valentine's Day forecast. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In the extended, I will look at Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius separately. Okay. Kind of a new kind of a thing here. I will also read any of the signs that come through. Okay. Any of the cards that come through as astrological signs. All right. So let's see what's going on. Valentine's Day forecast, Valentine's weekend forecast. Let's see what's going on for you guys. 2020, Valentine's weekend forecast. What is coming up? What is coming up for you, my darlings? Orphaned. I'm happy this is in the past. Orphaned. Flexible. I won't comment on that right now. Fates. All right. I had a feeling about this. So, um, okay. What I'm just going to put the, I'm just going to lay out the reading and then I will discuss that because I feel like there's a lot to say about that. And I am, it's interesting that the final card is the face. See, here I go talking about it anyway. Okay. So the fates, um, piece of it, a situation, a relationship you have had on and off again, okay? The on and off. Um, this person is fated to be in your life. So there is some kind of negotiation happening spiritually. There is some kind of, you know, the cogs of the universe are moving around to try to make this work. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right there, right there. Six of wands, overcoming some issues in the relationship. So there was something in the past that caused the relationship not to work. What is that for you? Okay. Something in the past that caused the relationship not to work. This is a past life soulmate. So there had to be some kind of transformation here, my darling. And that has taken place. Yes, it has. Fool, Knight of Swords, Justice. There's Libra energy. Nine of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Two of Wands, Nine of Wands. So this is sort of working through it. All right, this is working through it. Um, one of you, I feel like uh, you, the air sign here, is looking for the new path and looking for it to be balanced, okay? Because uh, in the past, I feel like there was, maybe there was fighting. Maybe there was some kind of, maybe there was some kind of thing that whenever you guys started up again, there was some kind of thing that went out of balance. Libra energy all due respect to Libras. I'm a Libra rising. Um, Libras are not balanced. They're always seeking balance. Okay. And so that's the thing. And there's anger here from the air sign. There's anger here. Okay. The other person really wants this to work. Nine of cups. You see in the past, there's the fool and the nine of cups. Knight of pentacles is what's going on right now. So the two of you are kind of at odds a little bit. You want movement. They are standing still. They are standing still. And uh, it's because of their money. We had a lot of readings about money recently. Okay. It's because of their money issues or because of they might not think they have anything to offer you. But look, there's love here. There's mutual love here. And it's like, what do we do about this? <clears throat> what do we do about this? All right. What is to be done about this? The fates are here. This is clearly something that needs transformation, something that is getting a spiritual facelift here. Okay. Um, this person might be so focused on their work. They're not paying enough attention. Ace of wands, a new beginning happening. More Virgo energy here. The Gemini energy there, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, Empress. So this is about putting an end to a separation. 
making a decision to put an end to a separation because there's love okay so i feel like this person is really looking at the new beginning and trying to and making a decision for love they know that this is how it has been in the past all right there's been hurt there's been <clears throat> There's been fighting or manipulation of some kind, but the love is winning out. I feel like they have a lot of really big feelings for you and they're not able to really just focus on their work anymore. Also, for some of you, this person is super practical. Okay, Virgo energy here, Gemini energy here. Um, they're of two minds about this, right? They're like, well, you know, I've really got to focus on my work. That's really how I'm going to have something to offer you. If I don't focus on my work, then I will have nothing to offer you. And then the point is moot. It's like their brain is kind of stuck in this loop about how they're looking at this relationship. And that's what keeps going around and around. Okay. That keeps happening. So the decisions are being made. It's, it's nice that Look, it's, it's, um, I know you're kind of mad about this. Okay. I know you're kind of mad, but at the same time, uh, this person has decided to put away this old mindset. Okay. This person has decided or is deciding in the process of deciding because of the, because of the love you guys have for each other. Okay. They're sort of like, how can I work on this? How can I move off of my Virgo esque? you know, day job, I'm focused on my work, I'm focused on making money, I'm focused on all of that stuff. How can I move off of that and move into something that is more balanced? Okay, right? Libra is seeking balance. And you guys are fated to be together. Um, there is an obstacle to overcome. You can have, um, you could be, uh, uh, um, there could be anger, there could be fighting. There could have been, um, in the past, there could have been hurt, real hurt, not just a little, real hurt. Ten of Swords is not little hurt. Okay, you guys could have broken up with each other. You could have gone your separate ways. You know, a lot of that could have happened. And I feel like you're saying, look, we just need to balance this. You don't have, you don't have to quit your job or stop working not asking you to do that. What I'm asking you to do is be more present when you're with me. Okay. And I feel like the, this person that you're talking about here is looking at that, is looking at the new beginning, wants the new beginning, and is making a choice for that. Despite this 10 of swords, five of swords thing. I feel like that's what they're wrestling with because in the past there could have been a lot of hurt here. But there was also a lot of joy, a lot of love togetherness, a lot of love togetherness, a lot of love and togetherness. And you're ready to take that leap of faith. This person, um, I feel like they're really stuck in some kind of mindset about money and about work. And that has made you feel empty or orphaned. They could feel alone in what they're doing. They're toiling away alone. Like what they're doing is their own project or something like that. They're working alone. And they're actually uh, gaining some new skills and things like that. So it is kind of exciting to them. But they are hiding themselves away. Okay, they are hiding themselves away. So this person, I, I'm going to look at in the extended, I will look at scorpio virgo energy here i do see libra and gemini so you could be dealing with another air sign so we can look at that too um but this nine of wands is about being persistent okay it is about not giving up doing what's necessary uh and the thing that i think shifts this whole thing from you know there's anger on your part you're not spending enough time with me there's um, kind of, you know, real focus on this person's part. I've got to do my work. Otherwise, I don't have anything to offer. 
Um, the thing that really shifts this, I believe, is the is some kind of awakening. There is some kind of spiritual awakening here between the two of you. This could be a twin flame reunion where the one who doesn't know what twin flame is or anything like that kind of like gets a download about this, that this is the person, this is a spiritually um, important person for me, uh, fated, this is fated for me. And you are on my path for a very important reason. So it kind of takes it out of that Virgo day-to-day -day kind of toiling away thing. And it's like, hey, heads up. This isn't just about like, you know, toting that barge and lifting that bale, right? This isn't just about that. This is, this is a, a, a connection that is worthy of your time. It's not just, you know, oh, we're dating and it's, you know, I, I don't mean to downplay that. I don't mean to like denigrate that regular dating and regular people, but this is a spiritual connection. And so I feel like the person who has been in this Virgo energy, the one who's been like, you know, head down in their work or whatever, um, understands, is going to understand that this is something that is more, more, it's more than that. So whatever problems you guys have are worth overcoming, are worth working through, and they're worth spending time on, okay, instead of just head down in their work, okay? So um, I will look at Scorpio. I will look at Virgo for sure. I'll look at another air sign, and then I'll give individual advice to each of you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Okay, so if you'd like to stick around, I'm going to continue this reading. The link is below for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, forecast for the Valentine's Day weekend. All right. I'll see you over there.